Hey guys, welcome to uh, episode two of Hymns. Today we're going to do um, probably one of the most famous hymns of all time. It's the most recorded hymn of all time. It's a hymn, as soon as you hear the first note, you know what hymn is coming. But the reason why I say that is I remember growing up, I would go and sit in our old church and I would sit in a pew very, very similar to the one that I'm sitting here now. And they would have this thing on Sunday night and all of us teenagers, we really loved Sunday night church because the music guy would get up and he would say, okay, uh, I want you to give me the number of the hymn that you want me to sing tonight. And so we would actually get to pick the songs for the worship set on Sunday nights. And one of the songs that we would pick was the famous one on page 104 or number 104 in the good old Baptist hymnal. And that song is Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. Now, when you look at the history behind some of these hymns, you realize that there is a story in every song. And the story of Amazing Grace is about a guy named John Newton. Now, John Newton was raised in a Christian home. He had a really godly mother, but she died in a very young age. And then what ends up happening is he ends up becoming a sailor. Not only does he become a sailor, he actually, during that time in the 1700s, he was the owner of a slave ship. But there was a saying about John Newton. He was considered the greatest blasphemer of all the sailors. In fact, I wonder if that's where the statement cussed like a sailor actually came from is because these sailors were very vulgar. They were very immoral. But one night while they were at sea, a big, huge storm started coming. Not only did a big storm come, a lot of sailors were swept out to sea. And one of the ones that were swept out was one of John Newton's very best friends. And in the midst of that storm, he cries out, Lord, have mercy on me. Kind of from that point on, John Newton's life forever changed. And then he becomes a minister and he writes this song about amazing grace. How sweet the sound. When you think about that term grace, in Greek the word is called charis, which means it is unmerited, which means we get it even though we don't deserve it. It is considered a gift. One of the best verses that I have in regards to how amazing grace really is, is in 1 Peter. And in 1 Peter 5, starting in verse 10, it says, The God of all grace. I love the way that verse, the God of all grace. Whatever grace that we have, it comes from Him who called you to His eternal glory in Christ. Will, he, will Himself establish, restore, strengthen, and support you, and check this out, after you have suffered a little while. I mean, we think about all the things that we've been going through. It's still amazing that we have this grace that is to strengthen us. It supports us. It establishes us. It restores us. And it's a sweet, sweet sound when you realize that that grace that we have, it establishes a relationship. It's a gift that we get to experience the love, the redemption, the mercy. And the story goes by John Newton. He actually shares that the inspiration that he has for Amazing Grace comes from a story in John. See, in John, there was a blind man who couldn't see. And he says, I don't know anything about this guy, but I was once blind, but now I see. And he also says that he got inspiration from the Bible for that short per portion of the verse, like a prodigal son. I was lost, but now I'm found. See, this grace establishes a forever relationship that we have, a relationship that we didn't earn, a relationship that we don't deserve. And just like John Newton, I think we're all a wretch, so to speak, and that is kind of an old word that means we don't deserve any of the goodness that we get from God. But even though we've suffered a little while, the God of all grace grants us a new mercy every day, a new grace every day to where we can sing and know, oh, how sweet a sound 
when Jesus says, I love you. What sweet a sound it's going to be when everything is over, when everything is done, and we hear those words, well done, thy good and faithful servant. I hope you have experienced that God's amazing grace. I hope you have said yes to Him during this time. I hope God has taught you something new about the greatness of His grace, the greatness of His goodness, and the greatness of a God who loves us so much that He sent His only Son to die on a cross for you and I. I hope you have enjoyed the history behind one of not only America's greatest hymns, but of the world's greatest hymns. And I hope you have experienced God's amazing grace. Until I see you again, I love you and cannot wait till we can sing this song in person and I can see your beautiful face once again. Have a great and awesome day. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me And I once was lost But now I'm found Was blind But now I see T'was grace that taught my God's praise.